Hello everyone, welcome to my Django e-commerce project. In this video I'm going to show you how to make search at the home page in the search area at the top of our uh, project. First I tried something in, uh, in this project and I just want to show you how I did and works in the my project okay first we need to add main URL search path the first thing we need to do for this project search and view we need the function and we need the forms at the header we already have a search form in uh, our template. I just changed something in this project. I add my action and I, t I add I added in this area post and I added CSRF token and I gave name for the my query and my category ID. Okay. Then, uh, for manage for manage this form at uh, my view, I create form in at the form by uh, file. Uh, there is not form forms pi file at the first time in our project i created this form pi in this area with additional uh, like this and i add i added i create my search form i added two fields in this area the one is query the other one is category id because i want to create a search like this, like this area, my categories, as you can see here. I want to create search, look like this, search. Also, I have a keywords array and I have category, but I didn't bring I didn't list categories in this area. I can list my categories at that area. Then I want to, I had my category products its same page. I just save as my category product uh, as a search products page. I want to show you this is my category product i have product list in this area and the left side i have some filter or something about that category but for search we don't need this area i just delete uh, this site this site code site html code from the product i just keep about the uh, product list in this page it is different to each other as you can see smart in search page we don't have uh, left sidebar but uh, all other everything is same <coughs> Okay, I created one, my search page is look like this page because we need manage form in this page. <coughs> First, we check post. If we don't, ha don't have any post, it's going to 
home page if we have forms we create a um, relation between our search form and form we check validation then we get a query and we get category id if not category id is zero because here is zero is all categories is is value of all category is zero <coughs> i have query for all categories if my category id is different from zero <coughs> also i added category id in my query <coughs> then i send my category and render my search product i want to explain what does mean what is what is this in my filter it is contain is look like this sql if you know sql queries it is same it gets same results with this sql it's like it contains it mean like if you use just contain contains it is case sensitive it don't want to use case sensitive you should use e contains okay then we send for for category three menu we need to send category all of function that call our html that include header this header we should send category always okay after this i want to try send just samsung one is samsung phone smartphone other one is television i want to activate my categories like here i want to send with category one i don't have because it's category one we don't have any product with the category one i want to change this area simple for record set in category and for here But we, we need the ID for ID we need the I have to add in this area okay I want to as you can see all of my categories here mm. smartphone sam as you can see it's just in smartphone okay i want to see what is about us search product is not about us page Did we send query from here to
some okay same results as you can see also I want to change this Okay, same results, same results, same results. Okay, it's good. But I want to change this. I want to change. It's not look nice. I want to use HTML uh, HTML group in selection. I want to use this group. I want to change with the group because uh, it's our MPP3 in our category. With that, we can convert like this. I want to show you. I want to change like this main category and sub category like this. It's it's very user friend uh, selection then regular list it does not look good I want to change I did before I want to just copy and paste I don't want to waste time in this place <coughs> my header is here You know, we, we tried before <coughs> in sidebar, we tried uh, MPT3 recursory category in this place. I know how it's working, how we can call uh, category and subcategory as a recursive function. I know I just convert this structure with the selection group okay I just want to get that code instead of this code I I change this code with this. <coughs> so I need the call. I need loot MPP tags. <coughs> Recursive tree because I convert, I use like this. As you can see, we we need the right group. In group, we need to write um, sub sub category. <coughs> All category is zero. First, I wrote in option my node ID, node title. If I don't have subcategory, I wrote, I'm writing option, my option. If I have this, my function is called again and wrote uh, category and, and calling uh, my recursive again. It is it is about working style my m this mtt tree structure if you want understand how it's working you can apply everywhere that you need to create like three things category subcategory selection group menu sub menu something 
is you need to understand how is working okay I want to refresh my page as you can see it's this is good is looking good then is better looking than the first time okay in television as you can see just in television in smartphone sam okay smart something three products the two one is television one is phone in television it's just television okay this simple simple search for our project everything is look that like this is enough for our project the next video I want to create I want to change my search uh, with autocomplete like this like this right now we don't have autocomplete I want to add autocomplete at the next video thank you for watching see you next video